Yo, hello everyone! Are you looking to create a seamless checkout experience on your Google Sites website? In this tutorial, I will guide you on how to create a checkout page on Google Sites. You will learn how to integrate payment gateways, design a user-friendly checkout form, and add essential elements like product details and order summaries. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience so guys once you feel like you have chosen your templates or the design that you are going for your website here i'm going to go with this restaurant name which is a template that they give us so here we go um here i have some codes that i have already written so i'm going to remove them and now let's try first to add a product for example here i'm going to add this product here okay we have this already i've made this section before so this is like an image so that people can buy but still there is no button that actually can help us do the job and take us to another page so basically what usually people will do is add here by button and let's say that this is the chef page which is the checkout page so it's going to be somewhere like that put it here and this is buy button so once they click here that this will take them to the checkout page so let's say that we have the checkout page which is this page the chef page um let me just uh, remove everything so we can have it as a checkout page um here we go I don't want to sh remove the text, I want to remove the whole section. So here we do have it removed. I'm going to remove this, remove this, 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 this. So let's keep removing everything in here, possibly. And now we have to add the checkout button. So in case you didn't know, the site Google doesn't have the actual way to add this, like the checkout button. So you can't really do that through the menu that you have here, through the insert menu that you have here but what you can do is insert an input button so what to do is here we are going to add a code which will eventually take the customer to pay us through paper for example now let me show you how to do so we are going to use elf sites elf sites is a platform that allows us to add multiple digits without coding so here if i click on widgets and I went to e-commerce through here you will find so many things as countdown timer, pop-up, pricing table, banner, click to go and buy pull button so without even talking about it we are going to need the buy pull button since we are going to need people to pay so let's click on the pay pull button and here let's design it so I'm going to go all the way down view widget so here it is um i'm going to edit it through here let's go and edit it here we go and now let's say that we are going to sell the product which is eisen so this is the product uh, that i've showed you before uh here it is uh the eisen picture and let's say that you are selling it for 5.03 so let's do the same thing here 5.03 and the shipping one zero so 10 usd and tax none the location is english which is united states and here the seller paper email so make sure to put your seller paper email over here so it will be linked to your paper so people will not <laughs> be confused uh, where people are going and you will not be losing money as well here for the button you can customize the button you can add paper text uh, you can do a lot of stuff uh, here the payment system icons you can remove these we can just leave like um, uh, buy now with paypal click on it so there is multiple ways to actually do it so here uh, we can change this to check out with paypal and then i'm going to click on publish close this click here and click on embed code now Let's copy the code and let's click on the embed code and now actually let's go to the chef page not here click on embed code embed code paste next insert and here you go so now you have it let's make this smaller a little bit like that 
and let's put it in the middle and the next thing to do is simply publish the page publish again and let me show you how it looks like when I click on that button so first of all I will need to click on buy button once I do that they will take me to here the chef page so the chef page is actually not updated let me just click on it once more so here we go uh, there are no unpublished changements, so let's refresh it. Okay, here it goes. It has been updated. And now, if I click on Check Out with PayPal, look what will happen. They will take me to this PayPal page, Eisen, description, price per item 5.03, and the quantity is 1. So they can even decide here how many items from this product they want. Then they can click on Continue, and at the moment, uh, I don't have the actually uh, account so i didn't link my real account to paypal but in general you will be able to put your information of paypal and then pay the uh, service it is as simple as that guys you don't have to really worry about literally anything so this is how you can add simple checkout page uh, using paypal and the uh, F sites and Google sites. So these are the three things that you will need: a paper account that is working, which is a business account. You will have to get a like a website on sites.google.com, and you have to get an account on this uh, beautiful platform which is called F sites. So these are the three tools that you mainly have to get before starting your checkout page. In general, and guys. As a side note for you, so for those who really want to code the code for the checkout page to make everything from zero and use it as an embed code and add it inside of their Google Sites, well, this is like the main five pages that you will need in order to create that. So here is an article for you to help you create um, a submit data like a form with Google HTML service and submit data to Google Sheets. So like that when someone do the checkout, like when someone puts his name, his information, everything about it, it will be saved on a Google Sheets form. So you will not lose it and you will get the real data. So you are not losing it. So this is all an article with code ready to use. So you just have to copy it and reuse it. So this is really helpful. Then you will end up having now the page which is the store itself so how to make the store and make it looking good and make it connect to this to checkout so each product will have a checkout page with the price x this is another website which is reflowhq.com it will help you a lot to make a full online store using only a few lines of html then you will have to add the payments so for this we will use for example stripe docs so here it will show you how to add payment links so you can sell online without building a digital storefront so as you can see this is like buy through stripe so you can follow this create a payment link share payment link and customize checkout experience so you can read these articles so you can have better like vision about how to make the checkout page if you are a programmer if you are not you just have to like to leave it and to change the platform like WooCommerce is a really good uh, platform to make your store in it Shopify as well why not go into these platforms and go to Google sites if you're not interested by programming or making any kind of uh, developing code and finally here we have PayPal so PayPal also have this which I showed you in previous videos you can use PayPal as a checkout button uh, through not this site exactly through another website which is f site this is a very helpful button as well to make it in your checkout page and finally this is like a general instant pds from google sheets so this is the same for these so it will help you like have a receipt and send people like their information uh, invoices and stuff like that so this will be helpful for you in case you are interested and thank you guys for watching till now that was all about it so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial